The High Rise Private Eyes, number one, The Case of the Missing Monkey, by Cynthia Ryland, pictures by G. Brian Karras. In a high rise building deep in the heart of the big city, live two private eyes, Bonnie Brown and Jack Jones. Bonnie is the brains, Jack is the suit, and together they crack cases wide open. This is the story of case number 001, the case of the missing monkey. The case of the missing monkey. Contents, chapter one, breakfast, chapter two, the case, chapter three, suspects, chapter four, solved. Chapter one, breakfast. Bonnie liked Brussels sprouts and cheese for breakfast every morning. Yuck, said Jack. It's delicious. Try some, said Bunny. Just the cheese, said Jack. Have a Brussels sprout, said Bunny. No, said Jack. Just one, said Bunny. No, said Jack. Just a teeny one, said Bunny. No, said Jack. Oh, why not? asked Bunny. Because I hate Brussels sprouts, said Jack. How do you know? asked Bunny. I just know, said Jack. How? asked Bunny. I just do, said Jack. Ha! said Bunny. Suddenly, Jack had an idea. He picked up a potted plant. Here, said Jack, have a bite. What? asked Bunny. Just one, said Jack. No, said Bunny. Just a teeny one, said Jack. No, said Bunny. Why not? asked Jack. Because I hate potted plants, said Bunny. How do you know, asked Jack. Bunny looked at Jack. Jack looked at Bunny. Let's go out for pancakes, said Bunny. Good idea, said Jack. Chapter 2. The Case Bunny and Jack went to their favorite diner, the grill next door. Mac, the owner of the grill, saw them. Bunny, Jack, he said, I'm so glad to see you. I need your help. What's up, said Jack. The monkey is missing, said Mac. Eek, screamed Bunny. Jack and Mac looked at Bunny. Gee, I don't, didn't know you liked monkeys that much, said Jack. No, it's not that. It's this, cried Bunny. She held up a finger. My nail is broken, she said. Bunny could be a bit vain sometimes. It was my favorite, said Bunny. How can you have a favorite fingernail, asked Jack. Well, I can, said Bunny. Does anybody care about my monkey, wailed Mac. Oh, sorry, Mac, said Jack. Give us the details. Okay, said Mac. Start writing. And he gave Bunny and Jack the details. One class monkey next to cash register at 8 a.m. Gone at 9 a.m. Jack looked at Mac. That's it? he asked. That's it, said Mac. But who was in the grill at 8 a.m.? asked Bunny. She loved a case. She forgot all about her nail. Just the regulars, said Mac. The regulars, repeated Bunny writing it down which means they'll be here again tomorrow at 8 a.m. asked Jack right said Mac good then I'll have a strawberry pancake and a glass of OJ said Jack me too said Bunny what about my monkey asked Mac whoever took it will be back here tomorrow said Bunny and so will we and then we'll solve the case in the meantime, we'll have pancakes, said Jack, but no Brussels sprouts. And no potted pants either, said Bunny. Max looked at them both. Not on the menu, he said. Well, thank goodness, said Jack. 
Chapter 3 Suspects Bunny and Jack were back at the grill next door early the next morning. Mmm, said Jack. Smell those pancakes cooking. Concentrate, Jack, said Bunny. We're on the job now. Okay, said Jack. Jack looked at Fox sitting in one corner. One fox, he said. One book being read by Fox. And, oh, boy, are those chocolate chip pancakes he's eating? Bunny wrote down. One fox with book. Jack looked in the other corner. Okay, he said. One crow with bag. One bag. And is eating, oh, yummy powdered donuts. Bunny wrote down, one crow with bag. Jack looked at the counter. Okay, listen up, Jack told Bunny. There's a moose with a mouse, a bear with a hare, and a dog with a frog. Bunny looked up from her notepad. What? She asked. At the counter, she saw only a sheep with a lunchbox. Jack grinned. I feel poetic today, he said. Bunny made a face and wrote down, one sheep with lunchbox, one corny private eye. Jack saw what Bunny wrote. I am not, he said. Are too, said Bunny. Not, said Jack. Too, said Bunny. I'm just very clever, said Jack, like a fox. Bunny waited. Like a fox with a box, said Jack. Bunny groaned. Chapter 4 Solved As Bunny and Jack were talking, Max stepped out of the kitchen. Bunny, Jack, he waved. He came closer to them. Did you find the monkey? He whispered. No. Yes. Bunny and Jack looked at each other. You solved it already? asked Jack. Sure, said Bunny. How? said Jack. Well, said Bunny, if you hadn't been looking at everybody's food, you'd have solved it too. She pointed to the corner. There's a fox reading a book on trains. That fox likes big machines, not delicate little monkeys. He's not our guy. Okay, said Jack, go on. There's a sheep at the counter. His lunchbox has a million dents in it. That sheep is way too clumsy to want something made of glass. He's not our guy, said Bunny. Okay, again, said Jack. Then there's the crow in the corner with the baby tote, said Bunny. That's a baby tote, asked Jack. Sure, see the bottle in the pouch, asked Bunny. Right, said Jack. And I'll bet there's a baby crow in that bag. And I'll bet that's the Papa Crow, said Bunny. Jack's eyes got big. Now I get it, said Jack. The Papa needs to keep the baby quiet so he can eat. Right, said Bunny. And how, and um, also what do crows love? Shiny stuff, said Mac. Hey, you took my line, said Jack. Oops, sorry, said Mac. So I bet the crow borrowed the glass monkey yesterday to keep the baby happy. He just forgot to put it back, said Bunny. But I'll bet he sets that monkey on the table when he leaves. Nothing to do but wait and eat, said Jack. Mac, what's cooking? Jack and Bunny sat down at the counter. They ate and talked with Mac. Until the sheep left, the fox left, and finally, the crow left. Check the table, said Bunny. Jack went over to the crow's table. He held up the glass monkey from Bunny and Mac to see. Hooray, said Mac. Case closed, said Bunny. He even left a donut, said Jack. I love a thief with a small appetite. Not a thief, said Bunny, a borrower. Right, said Jack. He held out the donut to Bunny. Want it? He asked. 
No, thanks, she said. Just one bite, said Jack. No, said Bunny. Just a teeny one, said Jack. No, said Bunny. Why not, said Jack. Jack looked at her. Because I... Bunny began. She stopped and she looked at Jack. Then they laughed and laughed. Here we go again, said Jack. The end.